So we're at our hotel in Windsor and the next stop on our journey is actually London. So I noticed while looking at London hotels or London Airbnbs, it was just all very expensive. So I thought, why not try Hotwire? So if you don't know, Hotwire is when you can book a hotel without knowing the name and you get it for a cheaper price. So I've done Hotwire before, but mainly it was for if we were staying at an overnight layover somewhere and didn't really care what the hotel was, we just needed a place to rest our head. Um, so I've never done it for an actual trip before. Um, so today is Thursday and we're going to London later today. So I decided to look up Hotwire starting today. So the Hotwire app, the Hotwire website at least, says use the app to get a better deal. So I'm going to look for London, um, Thursday to Sunday, one room, two adults. And then as it loads, you can see there's these little squares where you can pick your location. So for instance, I know that in this um, Chelsea area or Kensington area, one of the restaurants we're going to is right here. And then we're also going to a show that's over here somewhere. And then Wimbledon's down here. We're doing that later. So I thought, okay, if I just pick one of these areas, it'll be okay. So I'll highlight where I'm looking. Look at that one. And then these other ones say from 198, from 168, from 204, so I'm not going to select those ones. So I've got four areas selected here. And then over here on the left, you can pick your filters. So I just want to look at the hot rate hotels, so the ones that have the deals. And then the only thing we really care about is that there's access to internet, so Jeremy can do his schoolwork. And so here's the top if I want to list it low to high here's the ones that are the cheapest so for $105 a night I can look at this three and a half star hotel it has this little button of which hotel will I get and it'll tell you okay here's two or three hotels it's going to be um, sometimes it doesn't load meaning like it's not going to give you that satisfaction <laughs> um, they please try again so it might be that I don't know, the server is just acting funny or something, but this one's going to say, okay, we're not going to tell you the names of the hotel, but here's other three and a half stars hotels that we've used before. So it might be an NBC Suites, might be a Double Tree. Um, but I was mainly looking at this one, the, the biggest deal, if you will, 47% off. So it's a four star hotel, which Jeremy will be happy about in the Westminster Victoria Big Ben area. So I think that's just like right over here and then if I press this button which hotel will I get you may get one of these brands so Hyatt Sheraton Intercontinental now that 118 that's really key to look at because I was like oh that's a really good deal so I clicked on it but then I saw the total price down here trip total 464 so in taxes and fees $110 so it's really not 118, it's more like 150. So I told myself that's what I'd be willing to spend is about 150 a night. Um, so I could choose this one or I could just keep looking. You know, like what's this one here? Another 118 one, a four star. And it says, okay, it's going to be Copthorn Terra Hotel or Oliver Plaza. And you can do this, you can look at it either in the app or you can look at this Oliver Plaza um, somewhere else. So Oliver Plaza Hotel London and just see if like one of those two if you're okay with either option because if you are and you get one of them then you're gonna be okay. Um, so Jeremy likes to look at just Google Images. I like to look at the website itself. So Okay, nice room, don't care about the COVID stuff, in the heart of London, four-star hotel, restaurant and bar, so, okay, this looks pretty nice, it even comes with breakfast maybe, and then what 
was the other one. Um, Copthorn Terra Hotel London. Copthorn Terra Hotel London. A Millennium Hotel. <clears throat> that looks like a nice one too. Again, the only thing I cared about is that the internet is free because when we stayed in Pakitano, we didn't realize it. We had to pay extra for the internet. Um, yeah, okay. So going back to the app now, so I could do this one. And I know I'm gonna get one of these two, Oliver Plaza or Copthorne Terra Hotel. Oh, but the rate has changed. I took too long, so now it's 123 a night. But again, I wanna look at the total price. So 484, so it's still that $115 in taxes and fees. Um, so basically just a little bit above the price range I wanted to spend. So again, I have this 123 a night option, or I have this 118 a night option, and I don't know which of the hotels I'm going to get, but it might be one of these brands. Um, so basically what I do is I kind of narrow down choices, and then I let Jeremy have the final say because he's the one that cares the most about where we stay. I don't really care. Um, like I said, as long as there's internet, I really don't care where I lay my head, but he wants to stay in nice places. So I would ask him what we would do next. So does he want to go with this one and we don't know what the hotel is going to be, or do we want to go with this one and it's going to be one of these two options. All right, so Jeremy's going to take the chance and we're going to go with this four-star hotel where we don't know one of the brands. Um, it might be one of these brands, but we really don't know for sure. And, but it does have better reviews, 4.3 out of 5, whereas the other one had 3.8 out of 5. So click on that one. I'm just double checking everything. The price still stayed the same. Um, free internet. It does say self-service laundry. So if Jeremy really wanted to wash something, he could. Um, and here's the area where it's at, so that's one of the squares that I chose. So it's going to end up being $155 a night after taxes and fees, so I'm okay with that. Um, and we can have the hotel choose the bed type, um, which is fine by me, or we just pick a queen bed for just a dollar more, so it doesn't really matter, it's only a dollar difference. All right. All right, so the reservation is confirmed. We got the Westminster London Curio Collection by Hilton. So I have no idea about this hotel, but we're going to see if it's okay by our standards. I'm sure it'll be great. So not too shabby, the Westminster London Hotel, the hotel that we did on Hotwire. And it has this cute little like Asian inspired cafe that it's connected to right next door. So you can go in and eat some breakfast. We just had a little small snack for breakfast just now. And if you're into scooting, they've got some scooters <laughs> lined up here outside for you. I guess the only downside is that it's a 15 minute walk to the nearest metro stop. Um, it's the Green Line, the District Line, the Westminster stop. So not too bad, um, but, but I guess that's the only downside is that it's far away from the metro. But the walk is not bad either. You get to walk next to Westminster Abbey and Big Ben as well. Not too shabby. The room is small, but I think that's probably all rooms in London. So we have a bed, television for Jerm, even a little seating area where he can work on his homework. And then the bathroom is divided between the sink on the outside, toilet in one room, and then shower in the other door. 
and then we even have a closet as well so yeah I think that's enough space so I think we did okay on Hotwire and like I said we've never really had issues with it um, the only time I guess one time we used it and we had to pay for like $30 a day for parking that we didn't know um, didn't have to worry about that here and then another time that we used it there was like resort fees but I think that was on the Hotwire website that said you have to pay resort fees but other than that we've had really good luck with our Hotwire experiences so I will probably use it again in the future